Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. Ah, what can I say? I'm going to put some nice music in the background again today because I've just done a massive interview with Paul Buggy Brighton and there was a lot of darkness coming in. And yes, I'm very for looking at the darkness. As you know, I interview people that talk about child pedophilia and how to release and how to get that out there so people can wake up. But I do not believe for one minute that we should stay in a space of darkness because that's our annihilation. If we stay in the darkness, if we stay in the lack of common sense all the time, we cannot progress, we cannot come up with solutions. I think one of the things I, I got a little bit upset about is the, a petition that I spent the whole night sending around to people. And then people said to me, um, oh, don't bother, because um, a certain person runs that company. I had sat up all night, all night sending that petition around to people, believing that we have a voice, and then these people negated completely. Now, there's a battle going on between us guys, and this is the problem I feel. We need to unite, and I keep saying this time and time again. We need to unite, we need to use empathy and common sense. Could it be that that person is not actually involved in that company anymore? Have you done enough research to, to check this out? Or are you blindly again telling me, don't bother? So the darkness was everywhere. The fear was everywhere. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I stayed up all night for, every, for nothing. I got absolutely nowhere. This is a waste of time. But luckily the light came in. A deep breath and a beautiful email from a friend who sent me an article to tell me that we have gone viral. Us that are asking for compromise, us that are asking to remove the mandatory, we have gone viral. And the light came in in a big way. And that's what I do. I bring the light in. Yes, the darkness is there and we have to negotiate it. But I really do want to focus on the light today. I feel very tired, but I had a lot of fun last night doing a lot of tarot programs for moving on TV because I'm trained now in tarot. I'm putting them out there for you guys. And the darkness came in and said to me, oh, you did that wrong and I can't see the cards and that's not okay. And this is like this critical voice all the time telling me I did this wrong and that doesn't sound right. And I'm doing my best because that's it. There's just me doing my best here to try and make programs, to keep going, to send out the light. And if people have a problem with it, then give me the money to get a better camera, to get microphones, to get a studio. With Zoom, you can only do your best. So instead of complaining about it and having goes at me, go out and do something yourself really upsets me when people just sit there and criticize and do nothing. It's all about taking action. Every single life coach knows that you have the T-Grow model, for example. You have the topic, you have the goal for the day, you have the reality of it, and you have the options, and then you take action. So I am taking action, and if it's not 100% the sound or the picture, then you're going to have to forgive me because I'm experimenting and I'm doing my best. I love what I do and I'll get better at it. But please be patient. There's not much I can do on Zoom at the moment, so I will be trying to do it with a real camera. But at least I'm doing something. And if you go on that tarot thing, you will get messages that could help you. And I'm trying to help people to send out the light. So you have to go through that darkness. The darkness is coming at us from all over. 
but the awakening is about the fact that masses of people are waking up and for every one person that criticizes me or tells me a bad name, a horrible name, I make a hundred friends who tell me, well done, keep going, what you're doing. The darkness is to be looked at the same way as I always need a torch here, as we shine a torch and we see the bits of dust and the dirt. But then what do we do when we see this? We clean it up. So the darkness is good to look at. But then we clean it up. And that's what the awakening is. We cannot just sit in a hole of darkness. So today, I'm going to do a card because I'm a little bit tired. Uh, my sleep pattern is all over the place. I don't know about you guys. But I'm going to do a card, uh, a card, an awakening card. I just stay sane in a crazy world. These are awakening cards. You can get them from me or the Positivity Center. These are awakening cards. All of the meditations I did, I was going to put on something of that um, meditation, remember? Okay, well, I'm going to play that to you now. Some of the channeling. Some of the channeling that I brought through yesterday. I'm going to play that for you now as I'm shuffling the cards. Okay? Let's have a listen. Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> was the ninth. So this is me channeling. of love and determination to be in the opportunities of galaxies that are formed through gentleness, love, compassion, and joy. Standing tall around, standing tall to combine the love the compassion, the joy. There is no need to fear. There is no need to strategize in any way. We've got it, we've got you. Landing small, tough, genuine, interested in compiling the usefulness of the mandatory, problematic energies of density that will disappear in the compassion of the heart, the heart of the wise and the congruent determination to publicize within the determination of love, compassion, joy, strength, energy. We say, we say, we say, there is a force, good, good is good, good is light. We say compile. 
we say the passion, the words, look it up, read it, digest it, digest it. For God's sake, ingest it, digest it. Love is the only way. Love is the only answer. Love is the only passion, love, genuine righteousness of spirit that flows through the ether, that flows through the earth like light, like color. We want you to just digest. Ingest, digest, ingest, digest the energy. Just digest. Ingest, digest the energy. Please pass this on. Pass this on to your fellow man in confusion in combustion, not knowing what to do, your fellow man is awake, only love, let them focus only on love, let them focus only on love, strategies, writing, brainstorming, love, 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 there is nothing else but love. Ask them to remove the fear out of their veins, the fear out of their lungs, the fear out of their glands, the fear must go. Are you writing this down? It's to go to every light worker. Light workers unite. Light workers unite. Light workers unite. There is only one force now. You are the force. You are the love. You are the love. You are strong. You are strong enough. Combine your love. Combine your love. Combine your love. Healers, light workers. Combine your love. Combine your love. Combine your love. <coughs> United you stand, divided you fall. United you stand, divided you fall. Combine your love, Reiki love, light love, Buddhist love, every love. Light workers, indigos, crystals. Combine, combine, empaths. Combine, combine, combine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Channeling from Ramia. Combine your love. Divide your stand. Divide your love. Love the forces. Immense, immense strategy of love and compassion. Genuine light. Okay, so that was uh, basically the beginning of the channeling. Combine your love, unite, light workers unite, light workers unite. It's all about coming together, guys. So let's see what the card is. You got the key to the door again. The key to the door. They say that when you reach 21, you have the key to the door. Today, I would like you to think about what is the key to yours. Are you living your life the way you want? Have you opened the door to your dreams? If not, well, you chose this card because you are now an adult and it's your time to open the door to your joy and happiness. Take your metaphorical key and open that door. I'm now ready and mature enough to open my door to the life that will bring me the joy and inspiration I want. Key to the door, there's a little key. What do you want to do? Do you want to sit in the darkness and stew in it? Or do you want to accept the darkness and move on from it? I choose the second. I hope you do. 
I love you lots, guys, and I hope you can share this everywhere. If people want to get in touch with me and talk to me or interview me about my connection with Lumiere and connecting technology with love so that we work together because technology is a good thing in good hands, as is money, a good thing in good hands. It's using common sense, guys. You can contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. Ring me on 07437532798. I love you lots. Stay well. Stay safe. More than anything, stay awake. Take care. And of course, the miracles today also says it's impossible to see two worlds. There is that world and there is this world in my heart. And the world in my heart sees us winning, sees love. She's millions of us awakening bit by bit, bit by bit. She's all the good news that I'm putting out. And that's what I want to focus on, bringing it to the light in order to open it up, bringing the dark up, shining a torch and bringing it out to you with solutions, finding the bit in the middle. So when you send me a message to tell me, don't bother with a certain group because there's a certain person in charge of that group, Please take into account that I worked all night sending that petition around and that I know, however, things are not exactly as they seem. Okay, there's a bit in the middle here. Okay, and that group does work. It has worked for quite a lot of people. So you need to keep open, keep open, keep open. Take care now. And I wish you all that you open your minds and find the bit in the middle and unite so we can all unite. Take care, guys. Love you lots.